Aloha and welcome back to another episode on Little C's Creating with Jen. Today I'm sharing another Bible journal entry and here you see me prepping the page with gesso. This is a Bible from Illustrated Faith. The size is 9 inches by 12 inches. I'm stamping these butterflies onto printer paper and cutting them out because I'm going to be using them as a mask. These stamps are from Richard Garay Designs and I believe the stamp set is a new set that I got from my card subscription. I'm stamping it onto the page and I'm going to use the other pieces, the, the pieces that I cut out as a mask so that when there are butterflies that I'm overlapping, it will clearly show that um, they're overlapping underneath or in front of and not right over each other. I'm taking my Copic sketch pens and coloring the butterflies. I'm going to be doing them like in a rainbow color. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I'm just taking like five or six different variety of colors in the same group and then coloring them up. Kind of gives it a, um, what is that? Stained glass effect look. And it's so cool, isn't it? So I go through the whole process and color them out. It's so much fun doing this. Um, very therapeutic and relaxing. And now I'm on the last color, which is purple. Now all these are pretty much from the purple family, except for those pinkish ones. And it's only because the cover of those pens also look like a light purple. I'm going to take my mask and then I'm going to use some acrylic paint to kind of have like a color that's treading behind each butterfly. So with the red I did a pink and then with this orange I did a bright dark yellow and then I go to, oh that's my heating gun that you see. I'm always drawing in between the colors whether it's ink or um, paint. So this is a lighter yellow. And you can see it's actually coming out very, very nice. And I'm very happy in seeing the results of this. Um, I'm just going to go through each color. I use my heating gun and I dry off and then move on to the next color. The, this is all acrylic paint. I got it from Walmart. So, real cheap. I think it was like 50 cents a bottle. So it's a small bottle and it, I use only so little bit. Now with the purple, I don't have much space behind the butterfly, but I can clearly use the front of the butterfly and, and utilize that space and be purple there. So I'm going to take my Copic pen and just kind of color in the wings of this butterfly because some of the paint got on there. And then I'm going to take my black Copic pen, it's just a writer, and I'm going to go over the outline of each so that you can, so I can see the stamp lines again since it kind of faded with the, um, and with the paint and stuff. Now this stamp set is from Sweet and Sassy Stamps and the scripture that I'm putting on here is from 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Which basically means you made Jesus your Lord and Savior. Jesus died on that cross and He's forgiven all of our sins. He's died for our sin. And, and when he died on that cross, your sins died along with him. You are forgiven. You are redeemed. You are made new. And you are a new creature. And we should live this way. And, 
And so I just took some words that was part of the stamp set and I added it to the page. That so after that, I sprinkle on some dazzling pat and I use this paint yellow and this other paint color is called strawberry. Just kind of splatter it on there, give it a little more artsy look. And then I'm taking my heating gun and just drying it all off. And then I use the uh, dazzling pat and just kind of color some of the tiles on each of the butterfly and add some sparkles to that. Then my project is pretty much done. And it was a good time. I listened to worship music as I decorated this page and use my heat gun to dry everything off, make sure everything is all dry before I close the Bible. Um, this is the finished photos and that was pretty much it guys. It was a good time spent with the Lord. You know, doing this is like a worship offering to God too. So bust out your Bibles and spend time with the Lord. Have a blessed day in Jesus. Bye now.